Okay, guys, good morning, good morning. I uh, just woke up not too long ago uh, at my manager's house. I slept over there last night. My dryer's broken. Uh, so I definitely need to get a dryer, guys. Uh, hey, I got to get my priorities together. <laughs> I ran across a real good deal on a truck um, on a four-wheel drive um, Chevrolet pick up short wheel base um and went to check it out i don't know you know what prompted me to do it i'm trying to get uh a straight shift so i can um show carrie how to drive one um because that's something she doesn't know how to do um and if we ever get a company truck which i guess all these trucks are company trucks to all shit around in um, she's gonna have to know how to drive a straight shift. There's no sense. Um, and, and we can walk you through that too, guys. <laughs> Some people just didn't learn how. Um, you know, but anyway, so I was trying to find just an old truck to, you know, to do that. And uh, so, this old boy here in McDonald, I mean, if you really look uh, for, you know, cheap cars and trucks, you can find them, you can find good deals on them. Um, people pretty much giving them away, uh, you know, because they need money or whatever. Or whatever. Well, this kid that, uh, when I say he's kid, he's in the Army and he's 20 years old. And, uh, you know, he lifts, he works out, he's a bodybuilder. He wants to be a bodybuilder, he wants to get on stage. Um, so I went and I, you know, I was a pretty good deal, um, you know, on a truck. So I went, and I mean, just a sweet deal. Unbelievable, guys, you, how cheap things are and how easy it is to live here in Tennessee as far as financially with money. So I went and I scooped up that truck, scooped him up. I didn't have anybody to, you know, help me transport it or whatever. And, um, you know, he uh, got to talk to me about the gym and um, about bodybuilding and powerlifting and stuff. Um, because I guess my gym is known as a powerlifting gym because Anthony Maddox had it before me, um, you know, and I was a powerlifter, um, you know, which is pretty amazing what I was able to accomplish. Um, but there was a reason behind it anyway. But so this kid or this guy, um, he's going to come down and train with me today. And, uh, you know, he, uh, he he's interested in doing a show, um, you know, and he might be a, a new pr- prospective client. Um, he hadn't signed on fully. Um, I think, you know, it's just the money issue, um, which I don't charge much at all, man. Um, a hundred dollars a month for four sessions, a written plan, a written, um, you know, macro suggestions and, um, you know, all kinds of accountability. But the deal with my bodybuilders is, is they pay that and they get sessions, uh, you know, pretty much every day. Um, or, you know, if they show up when I'm training, we'll train together. Um, and I'll coach them through it. And we pose every day, too. Um, I want to say I appreciate it. I appreciate Mr. Wilson commenting last night the kind words um, on the pose. And I need to take a look at that, where I was posing. Uh, I really appreciate that D. Halley Hooker, Hooker, um, if I'm saying that right, um, who I was text actually sitting in the driveway. I'm replying to your comment. Uh, and, uh, man, I mean, I sat there for a minute. I mean, and there, everything was quiet. Um, and then just all of a sudden, boom, I'm out of nowhere loud. Um, uh, it, the radio <laughs> played up sticks. Too much time on my hands, you know. She just kind of tells me, man, um, you know, that the, the universe is ready for me to get busy with this thing, get the show on the road. Uh, you know, talked to Roddy last night, got my posing over there. And, you know, he's questioning me, which, man, are you even doing the diet? Um, you know, are you even eating anything that I said? You know, what are you doing? Um, now, I've lost, um, I gained 15, but I've lost, I don't know, about seven um, in the last week. Uh, 
but you really have to schedule it, you know, with your eating times, your training times, um, you know, and you have to work in your clients too, you know, so um, my suggestion is, you know, put yourself first. If you're going to give yourself an hour or two to train, um, schedule that, um, you know, and set up a boundary and don't, don't back up on it, you know. If such and such wants to come in, let them come in. But you know, most most of the deal with mine is, man, on those hundred dollar plans. You know, everybody they get the session schedule, um, and they get a workout plan, and they get you know uh, the diet, you know the macro uh, suggestions and everything. Um, and you know, I lay out examples for them. You know, of what they could do or what I do, but. Um, you know, they can, they can substitute and improvise. Um, you know, a guy can take a probiotic. You know, I can put down in, on there five ounces of Greek yogurt, um, right? But a guy can take a probiotic and be the same thing, right? Um, you see what I'm saying? So, that's how I am about mine. I mean, you could eat a couple blueberries, you know what I mean? But I could, uh, you know suggest uh, that you take, you know, uh, some kind of daily fiber supplement, you know what I mean, or, you know, you can take a fish oil cap, but I, I might say take, you know, two tablespoons of peanut butter, you know, for your fats, uh, and whatnot, you know what I mean, you like, might like chicken, you know, you might like fish, you might like beef, you might need a vegetable source to get your protein out of um, so, you know, I, I do it that way. Uh, so, you know, I, uh, for people who are, um, you know, cleared by a doctor to um, eat in such a way. Um, but anyhow, um, yeah, man. Uh, so, uh, that day, uh, I guess it was D. I lay hook up. Um, you know, that was your handle or whatever. Man, I appreciate it. You're right, man. Um, and I can hold those posts a little longer um, as I get in better condition. Um, and that most muscular, we're working on that, man. And it is, man, when I, you know, when I have get food in me, um, you know, especially white rice, after about 20 or 30 minutes, man, I get all types of vascular. Uh, I'd like to add more mass, man, but, you know, the way I look, man, we're pulling back. He wants me to pull off two to three pounds a week, which is cool. And he took a look at me last night. <laughs> like I say, you know, um, to back it back up, um, uh, and asked me, you know, if I was even, you know, eating the food, if I was even on the diet, you know. Part of it is because the core's blocked off, okay? Power lifters and bodybuilders have... Uh, a different core structure. And if you notice, the ones with power lifters will always be able to tell because they don't <clears throat> have a tapered core. Their cores are blocked off, you know, straight up now, SpongeBob. Um, so um, it's hard for me to taper uh, at the waist like that. You know, my, my deal with that is, is, you know, make the upper back bigger, um, so I look more tapered, um, which I do, because, but, you know, not like some of them, I don't have a teeny tiny waist, um, and I won't because of the muscles and that part of my core structure from having to stabilize all that weight, um, you know, whenever I was squatting in the big leagues, um, so what I think we're going to do today, um, and I'm going to walk you through it. It's going to keep me accountable, and I'm going to write everything down. Um, is to be accountable to Roddy. I'm going to show him what I do during the day. Um, you know, as far as my meals, and what I eat. Um, you know, make sure they're measured out specifically. Because um, my meal plan is pretty. Boy, it is, it is uh, pretty intense. I mean, it's, uh, it's very specific, uh, you know, with the measurements. And it's like I've got, I have Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 
And then Thursday, um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, it changes. You know, so I go from, uh, you know, we do a little, you know, which is a lot of carbs anyway, but, you know, we add, um, you know, carbs and even some simple carbs on the weekend. He said we do that to compensate for the carbs that we had pulled uh, during the week, which is still a lot of carbs, but it's not as many as we were doing in the beginning. Um, you know, and then posing um, the way that I do things. So right now, um, right, uh, what I'll do is is I'll go up here, go up to the gym. I was going to go home first, uh, but I decided to go ahead and just... Um, let's just get it. Um, after I after I read your comment, uh, man, I realized, man, it's time to get serious with this deal. Um, and maybe even go ahead and commit to Anaheim or uh, go ahead and commit to the Haney uh, or something um, a little closer. Roddy says he wants me to... Uh, he would rather me do one, you know, a month or whatever um, before I go out to the one in Anaheim. But if I do the hang, um, it's going to be a week before. Right? So we'll talk about that. Let's get the posing down, Manny. You know, it's, I'm still moving my arms too much in my quarter turns. Um, you know, so, I mean, that's the thing. Uh, those quarter turns, man, that's that's first impression. That's got to nail them. Um, so, and then a routine. Um, so if anybody's got any idea for some songs, um, we want three songs that fit my personality. Um, and he's going to pick from that and do a routine. Now, the ones that the I, ha I have had um, in the past, uh, boy, I, I just want to stop for a minute because it's a, this is really exciting. Um, getting ready for this show and getting it all together. Man, if you guys haven't realized it up until now, bodybuilding, for me, the preps have been a shit show. Um, and it has so far, but, um, you know, just trying to keep everything together with the gym, um, you know, the house, um, everything that's going on, um, uh, you know, getting my taxes in order after having all that, you know, that outflow and income coming in, uh, you know, from years of working in W2 and, um, you know, and then buying all this stuff and selling the house and all that stuff happened all at once. <laughs> Uh, but it was cool. Um, but anyway, back to the, this is real exciting, um, you know, getting ready for a show, um, you know, a, a big show on the big stage. Um, but anyway, uh, so um, we'll start recording that, uh, you know, so I can show Roddy um, what kind of lifestyle I got going on here. And what I'm doing, and he can coach me through, uh, you know, my daily routine on keep me on point with the eating, with the training, and with um, the posing. Um, show him how to do things, uh, you know, and that way he can coach me through. That should be a little easier. Guys, I'm a coach, and I've done the online coaching thing, and it's hard to do. One on one is better, especially for bodybuilders. Um, powerlifting, yeah, it's tough because you only see a guy's um, first in his life. You know, you, whatever lift that you're looking at that you're critiquing, but you can't be there to see every little thing, every little detail. Um, and that's just like posing. Uh, you guys compliment how good I look on posing, and you're right, and I appreciate it. Um, I never realized, um, you know, that I had this type of physique, um, and never really, I always lifted weights, but I never really paid attention, um, you know, to what it looked like. Um, I knew, I, I felt like I looked good and I was comfortable, but not at this level. But anyway, um, uh, 
um, pictures and videos do not do you justice um, as far as your body looks. So you guys can imagine. I mean, in person, I look that much better, um, you know. Uh, so you can imagine if you were a judge, I'm sitting down below me looking at me on stage. The thing is, is I got to be able to show you that, um, you know, and go along uh, with the, uh, you know, with the criteria for the scoring, um, what it is. And that's the thing, man, you know, like, you know, you come in and um, the hookah and, and you said, um, you know, it's not so much about you know, what the, you know, the way that they, they judge it or whatever, um, it is, but I mean, I think you're right. I agree with you. It's more about the way I feel, um, you know, than it is about, about the way they're judging it, but I have to bring my personality into it. Um, also, uh, so, um, you know, we're just gonna we're gonna give it a run, guys. It's, you know, I'm getting kind of, kind of, uh, you know, I'm starting to feel I'm starting to feel the craziness of the prep, man. They all talk about, <laughs> um, you know, but I, I'm I'm start I'm enjoying it. Um, last few weeks have been crazy, uh, you know, with some of the stuff that's been going on in here. But I had to, you know, we had to nip it in the bud and get back on track. Uh, so that's what we're doing now. Um. I love you guys for sure, man, and I appreciate you. Guys, we are going over to TikTok. Um, we are going to try and set that up today. Um, you know, so we'll be doing, if all 1,000 or 1,500 of you or whatever come over, we'll be able to get it rolling. We'll start getting, um, you know, we'll get it to where you can give, you know, like, you know, 25 cents, 50 cents, uh, you know, something like that, a dollar. Um, or whatever you want to give, um, you know, to keep this deal going and we will, um, and guys, and if you want me to, um, one thing that I do do, um, when I get any money, the first thing that I do, because yeah, I hope you learn something every day on the channel, um, uh, the way that the universe works and the way money works is, is you give it away to get it. If you give money away, um, you get you get three times back as much as you gave. It's a law, and even better, you even get more than that. It's just a law, and I put it to the test over and over and over. Um, even the other night, um, you know, I um, I I usually give out pocket knives for Christmas, and I gave um, and I had one left. They got some real nice knives this year. Um, you know, because I usually just get that, you know, economy sack of knives and everybody gets a knife because, um, you know, I'm not a guy that celebrates Christmas. Um, never have been. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I'll get that sack of knives down here at Frost Cutlery, uh, you know, and pass those out to everybody. Let them go through and pick and then, um, <clears throat> you know, whatever's left. Um, you know, I usually, you know, give to random people or whatever, whatever. Um, and I went and it, you know, it's, it, you know, in not economical, it's doable. I mean, you thinking you're buying a hundred pocket knives. Um, but, um, this year I had to buy, um, some real nice ones. Uh, well, I didn't have to, I wanted to, but they still, they didn't have any of those. And that's usually what I went with. I mean, that way I can go in the store, get them and get out. Um, but this year, um, you know, they didn't have them, so I ended up buying them all. They all got real nice pocket knives. And I had some laying up here, and I thought to myself, well, you know, and that was the one day um, that I didn't, you know, make any money um, that day. And... um you know, I almost left here without making any money that day. Um, and, uh, about the time I got out of the parking lot, man, um, you know, a client and his, you know, a young client I have and his mother stopped and they paid me for their month of service. I was like, wow. 
Um, you know, it only costs us. Uh, it doesn't cost much at all, guys. I got this place paid up and everything. All the bills are paid. So you guys, you know, as far as content that's coming up, you guys don't have to worry about anything. You can stay right here on this channel. Um, and watch the videos and stuff. Um, you know, get your membership and, or switch over to TikTok because that's the memberships on this channel. Um, you know, it's going to be the same <coughs> as TikTok. It's the lives that I'm going to be doing. It's going to be the, uh, um, the workouts, uh, that I'm selling for the memberships on YouTube, um, for you guys, the personal training that I'm selling, the service that I'm giving you guys. Um, you know, for five dollars a month on the channel, and then you know, if you would kindly, um, give a gift, you know, of, you know, fifty cents or a dollar, on the, on the uh, TikTok, on um, these TikTok lives, um, like I say, so I could keep this place going and continue on the mission, um, you know, that we're on, um. But anyway, uh, you know, we're going to go through it. This is going to be fun, um, you know, and I'm going to, if any of you guys have ever wondered, um, you know, you set out to do a show or you've, you know, set out to make your body look a certain way and you get into it, you know, and it, and it's, you know, you start, you know, getting out of the. You know, you do good for a minute, but, you know, and then you, you know, you eat something, um, you know, that doesn't line up with what you're trying to do, you know, and then you do it a few other times. And then before you know it, you know, you're just like, man, you know, and then you try to get back into it and then you do it again. And you're like, man, I can't do this. You know, don't keep the word can't out of your vocabulary, but, um, you know, you're like, oh man, you know, it's, you know, I, you know, I can't do this or you know, you, you're losing sleep, or, you know, you're you're hanging out with, you know, significant others, and, uh, you know, all this other stuff, you know, um, problems come up, work, you know, and all this stuff, and it gets all jagged and crazy, and um, that's how bodybuilding is, man, it is. If you can ever get in the habit of doing one thing, um, you know, real well stay in the habit of doing that one thing real well right and then you know pick up the other one you know start with sleep you know what i mean um you know and you know then go with your training you know because the food is the hardest one to keep up with the food is the hardest part about training um for bodybuilding but it is bodybuilding food is, food is the most sleep is the most important part um, but food is what's going to make the, the physique you want. Um, you have to train, yes. Um, but sleep, food, and training, I mean, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, food's, you know, it's, it's keeping it, keeping it, you know, you know in, the, in between the, in between the lines. And meal prep helps, helps with that. But, I mean, when you get to this level, you know, when you're training with a pro, man, it's, you know, you know, half a half a cup, two thirds of a cup. Um, you know, I mean the 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 weights change, the volume of it's changed, and then the diet completely changes, and you know the meals are completely different. You know what I mean? You got to have everything prepared, and you got to have those times that you have to eat. So. Anyway, guys, be looking out for us on TikTok, and let's get over there and um, start doing some lives. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do video um, today throughout the day, and I'm gonna post it on the channel um, of me interacting with Roddy um, and making these videos videos for him to show him, um, you know, what I'm doing. Okay, guys, love you. Like, subscribe, and share. Um, Sorry for the 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 non introduction to the new people. Um, hopefully, you heard about me through some of your friends um, who watch the channel. Uh, but I am Hollywood. I'm the owner and operator of Hollywood Blues here in Cleveland, Tennessee. I'm a NASM certified personal trainer. Um, I have a powerlifting background, and I'm a 50 year old 
bodybuilder um, that's going to compete in the Nationals out in California at the end of the year. Anyway, guys, um, love you. Um, have a good day. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy every single moment. Um, vibrate in it, you know, at, at a high level of energy, guys. Put it out there. Man, in fact, throw it out there. Say what you want. Um, and then vibe high. Um, law of attraction is going to bring it to you. All right, guys. Later.